everybody. Um, just an in-between monthly sort of vlog today. I couldn't resist coming up and showing you the ploughing that we're doing today. We're actually ploughing this what was red clover lay in. Now normally I would put red clover in and leave it for three years and as I've said before we utilise that red clover as a silage crop and we also fatten a lot of lambs on here. So it's a very useful crop and normally it would be in for three years. However, this is in its fifth year. It's been such a great crop and we've relied on this 170 acres to provide an awful lot of our forage needs uh, through the summer. So we've been loath to plough it up. Now whilst I talk about ploughing, there's lots of talk about min-till and the way that farming should think about min-till and so on. The only time that I'd really use a mould board is to plough in these red clover lays. If you plough that well and plough down the rubbish on top, you get a really clean start and a really clean seedbed to get a cereal crop into. Now we're actually going to be uh, sowing winter oats into this field along with a vetch. Because we've had such a terribly dry summer, we like you I'm sure, are quite short on forage so I'm going to be hoping for a very early spring next year. So as an insurance I'm going to put vetches in with the mix and I'm going to grow a whole crop and we will whole crop and sile this crop into the pit next year. There's 80 acres here. I've grown oats and vetch before and you get a huge volume. The easiest crop to grow without a doubt in an organic system are oats. Now today's October the 3rd. Most more intensive farmers would have already drilled up their autumn cereals but the later I can drill into an organic system the better. So we'll look to drill this field about mid-October. Now the reason I do that is, is because the cereal crop will emerge and grow quite healthily but the weeds are going in the opposite direction. By the time the spring comes I've got an established cereal crop that will get away and beat the weeds. Oats are very good at tillering and getting pumped and I'll put the soil into gardens which in turn will suppress the weed. I'm going to jump up for a second because the plough's going to come past and we're going to show you that ploughing and I'll carry on in a second or two. So the plough's now gone past. The plan is, is that we'll grow this whole crop, uh, cereal and vetch crop in here for the following season in 2019. And we're going to follow this crop right the way around the year. So do keep watching Agroecology because we'll be able to talk you through the process of how we uh, stay on top of weeds, etc. and add nutrition. Before this field was ploughed, we spread muck onto it. And I've explained before that we use manure that's about 12 months old, that we turn every six weeks and get down to a nice friable medium. And with the right type of muck spreader, you can spread that very evenly across the ground. I've also got a theory about muck on top of the ground that then gets ploughed in. You actually see the benefit next year when it's ploughed up again. However, next autumn what we'll do is we'll use a min-till process to put this back down to a grazing lay. So it'll go back into uh, grazing grasses and white clovers as opposed to red clover. It's very easily established in the autumn. Um, and so follow us right the way through the year and we'll talk you through every process of how we manage this crop, including the whole crop. We're ploughing at about seven to eight inches deep been so dry it's quite hard the plough's bouncing about a little bit but seven to eight inches in this soil is plenty because what we don't want to do is plough down too deeply any sort of nutrient and nitrogen that's been left behind by a leguminous crop so we look forward to seeing you very soon I think the plan is to put much more shorter bits of snippets of information onto the website and I hope that you do enjoy them thanks very much mm -hmm.